All right, this is Scott Davis with Rogers High School Television, and I'm going to show you how to make a video out of a PowerPoint file. Here's the PowerPoint file. I'll click on it. I have PowerPoint on this Mac. You can also do it on a PC. Um, I did a video earlier on this, but I did not use my uh, cover for my USB mic and I had some popping sound so I've added this uh, wind cover this windsock cover uh, to hopefully smooth out some of the rough edges so here's the, the PowerPoint um, I always go in and do a uh, check the transitions and I like to use the page curl. There's peel off. There's all kinds of different ones you can use, but I like page curl, so that's the one I use. And I'm going to tell it to take a second and a half to do the page curl. Uh, I think I'm going to change that to a second, and then I do it after six seconds. So I don't want it on mouse click, and I want to apply it to all. So there we go. That's all. You, and you don't have to do that, but you need to have some kind of auto transitions make it smoother so we're going to go here to export and you can also export it as PDF um, I like to use mp4 uh, or MOV for the to do video so I'm going to do mp4 it's a little smaller f file format presentation quality quality is the highest one you can go on PowerPoint so that's what I use uh, and I'm doing my own audio here in QuickTime Player instead of using their recorded one, their recorded narration. So uh, I'm going to put that in the Sports Hall of Fame. Since that's what this is, I'm going to export. And you see down here at the bottom is your progress bar. So it'll take a few maybe a minute or two so I'll I'll pause the video and come back in All right, now I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro, which is right here. I also have Adobe Premiere. You could do it in either one. Uh, I'm going to create a new event, and I'm going to call it Training Videos for RHS TV. And so an event can have several different projects in it. I'm also going to create a project. These are the specs, uh, and I'm going to tell it OK. And then I'm going to go down here to this one. I'm going to change this to how to make a PowerPoint into a video. So that'll be this one. And this is almost done. So this one here. is ready so I'm gonna take this is one I did before so I'm gonna take this one here and import it in so the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click import it's gonna pull up the box and then I'm gonna go through and find where I want it I'll get it from the desktop um, I like to go where content created because that will pull the new ones to the top. And those are the old ones. These are the new ones. So here's Sports Hall of Fame. And then here's the MP4 from the other day that I did. So I'll pull it up. And it's right there. So I'm going to drag it down. And there you go.
Now usually I tell, always tell my students to make a title slide. So I'll go here. I usually use one of the build-in, build-out ones there. I like the centered one. I always put it at the front and do it black. You don't have to. You can put it over here, but that won't work good because the text is already there. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, RHS adds seven members to uh, Sports Hall of Fame. I always like to get mine even, so I'm going to put two here and there we go. Um, pick a subhead there, and so you go from here to here. And if you want to, you can go in here and add some audio. So I have some audio on the desktop you can also go over here and look for it it should be here we go all right so this is a quicker way if you don't want to go through the menu so i know that i have the alma mater i can just drag it over there and the fight song so if i want some audio of this i can just grab this bring it down here I always tell my students to use uh, uh, the audio meters. You've got little bitty ones here, but I like them over here. And so I'll take that fight song. I'll take the alma mater, put it here. Take those two. Let's see, the levels are about the same. If those are little and hard to work with, you can go to right here and make them bigger. I like to do that. And make sure I usually put it on about minus six and it's hard to get that level if you have them real little so I like to make mine big enough where I can do it so I'm gonna take those two since I've already got them together I'm gonna copy it and put them right here and then I'll go to the end and I'll fade that out and grab it and fade it out uh, I'll go here and add a little scrolling background here. Uh, we used to, we like to use this for a downtro. And that's probably plenty. You can shorten it or you can just split the clip and get rid of it. And I'll drag this out. See how it sounds there, those transitions. All right, let's see. All right, so get a little uh, echo there. So I'll export it off to master file. And I'll put this. I usually try to do them in 10, 1080 or 4K, but since the source uh, video is only 1080 that's as high as it can go i always do better quality instead of faster encode go right here resolution so i'll export this file and it'll go wherever you tell it to go usually down these down here are your recent places so i'm going to put it back in the sports hall of fame one since that's what it is and export it in there and now i go if you like to make training videos or just save video games or whatever uh, you can go to QuickTime Player, and then so you just go here and quit, take QuickTime Player, and then I'm going to name this file um, how to make a PowerPoint into a video, and then I'll import this in Final Cut Pro and make my own video. So. Uh, we'll put this on the desktop, be easy, 
my desktop is a little cluttered, but it'll be easy to find. I'll change that to convert. And you don't have to go into Final Cut Pro and edit it because you already have a video file, but I like to put the intro and the outro and add audio. So uh, you c I did another video that's on our website where I actually added an interview to this. So it's a little more complicated, but you get the point. So uh, for RHS TV, this is Scott Davis, and I hope you've learned something. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rogers High School TV.